Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, sorry for the delay in videos. As you can tell from the sound of my voice, I am a little bit under the weather. Actually, I'm a, I'm a lot under the weather. Bronchitis is just uh, really knocked me the heck out. So today, I want to do a short little video, just a simple trick. You know, you may already know this, and if you do, you know, no big deal. If not, maybe it's you know something that can help you out in the future. So. What we got here is this, this proto board, Vero board, whatever you want to call it. Just imagine that's any PC board and any project you're working on. And you've got an IC that you need to desolder. Well, unless you have, you know, like a vacuum desoldering gun or something like that, this can be a little bit difficult. So I just want to show you a really quick and easy trick that'll help. And this will work with any type of IC, you know. This is a four pin, you know, doesn't matter. You go up to 14, 18, whatever. It'll work. Get your side cutters. Come in here. Sometimes it can be a little difficult, but you can do it. Get in there and bite them legs off. If you have to get up onto the chip and do it, that's fine. I mean, this chip we, we've already determined is bad, so it doesn't really matter what happens with the chip. There we go. So once you've cut them out, you know, you're left with the legs down below. Which you can then remove. By just heating up the solder with your soldering iron. And you know, grabbing a hold of the legs. A pair of tweezers or whatnot. Underneath. That's it, they'll come right out and you're good to go. You're back where you were. And the benefit of using this method is that you don't put excess heat into the board, which can cause pads to lift. That's bad. So I hope this little trick helped out. I'll be back in a couple days when I feel better. Thanks for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.